was a drum appellation by students of Kimbo Senior High Technical School. You shall now have the Independence Anniversary Address by His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Your Excellency, Vice President John Dramani Mahama and his wife, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, Your Lordship Justice Atuguba, Acting Chief Justice, President John Rawlings and his wife, Honorable Ministers of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, Your Excellencies, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Service Commanders, Members of the Clergy, our traditional rulers, Leaders of Political Parties, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, My Brothers and Sisters. Permit me to start off by respectfully asking all of you to observe a one minute silence in memory of Boni Etunam, a 14 year old pupil of Hofiave, Seventh day Adventist Junior High School, who passed away during the rehearsals for the anniversary parade. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Please be seated. She obviously will be remembered for her patriotic zeal to serve Mother Ghana. 
I would also like to use this occasion to convey my heartfelt condolences to the bereaved family and to the staff and students of Hofiave Adventist Junior High School. My countrymen and women, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters, Ghana, our dear and beloved country, is 55 years old today. And we must give thanks to the Almighty for having brought us thus far. 55 years in the life of any nation is no mean achievement. And that's why we have to be grateful to the Almighty for His grace and for His mercies. Parade Commander Colonel John Asabri and the various contingents on parade have added beauty, glamour, and color to the 55th Independence Day celebrations. Mother Diana will forever be grateful to you for a job so very well done. My brothers and sisters, it would be remiss on our part if we do not take this opportunity to salute those known and unknown who fought to bring us our independence. Sergeant Dr. Kwame Nkoma and his team, Sergeant Tajete, Corporal Satipo and Ebate Lamti, and all those gallant men and women who fought so that we'll be able to celebrate this day. The torch that Osajifu Kwame Nkrumah lit 55 years ago is still glowing across the continent and worldwide. It is not surprising. But at the last gathering of the AU in Addis Ababa last January, a magnificent statue in his honor was unveiled at the forecourt of the new AU building. Is it We should also salute the laborers, the market women, the students, and many, many Ghanaians, past and present, who contributed and have contributed to the growth and development of Mother Ghana. My brothers and sisters, this is the time for us to celebrate the values which have sustained us over the past 55 years. This is the occasion when we have to celebrate the very essence of our heritage and the legacy bequeathed to us by our forefathers. And also, the very things that have defined us as a people and have inspired countless others worldwide. But my brothers and sisters, our celebration will be meaningless unless it is linked with a collective resolve to move Ghana forward as a united people in pursuit of a common purpose. As president of this country since 2009, it has always been that on this particular day, I just encourage to increase my commitment and resolve to work harder in the interest of our dear nation. This day should constitute a constant reminder that given the opportunity, the African can take his own destiny into his hands 
and manage his affairs so that he gets to the very top. This day, she continued to serve as a constant reminder that with God's blessings, with hard work and determination, we as a people can build a better Ghana. As President and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces, I pledge that Ghana will remain peaceful before, during, and after the elections. After all, my brothers and sisters, we have no option but to sustain the peace that we are enjoying so that we can broaden the frontiers of the democracy and development that we are enjoying. Over the past three years, as I've stood here watching the young men and women march past with determination written across their faces, we have exhibited not only love for their country, but they have shown that we are full of dreams, big dreams to take over from us. We must not let them abandon these dreams. Let's work together as a country to enable them to realize these dreams. I have no doubt that with the blessings which the God has bestowed upon us and with the world to serve our dear nation, there is nothing that we cannot achieve as a people. To the young men and women, my advice is that continue to love your country. Work hard, but don't be discouraged even in the face of challenges because life without challenges is empty. But with hard work, you'll be able to realize your dreams. Posterity will never forgive us, those of us in this generation, if we do not safeguard and improve upon the legacy bequeathed to us by those who fought for independence. I have no doubt whatsoever that in 55 years from now, Mother Ghana will be on a much higher pedestal and the faces, that the smiles on the faces of our forefathers will be broader than ever. Congratulations to the young men and women, to all Ghanaians, both home and abroad, who are celebrating this day. My special congratulations go to our gallant men and women in uniform who are serving on peacekeeping missions abroad and who have taken time off to celebrate this day. I would urge all Ghanaians to celebrate this day but do so modestly and also be aware of the fact that we need as a people to hold in high esteem the heritage won for us through the blood and toil of our fathers and always respect, uphold, preserve the good name of Mother Ghana in all cases. May God continue to bless our homeland Ghana, make us greater and stronger. Thank you. by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana and Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.